This video shows under the new BIOS 3.0, the computer does not hit the full speed of 2.1 gigahertz. At the end, it shows uh, pictures in high quality. Also, this was recorded with the Microsoft HD LifeCam uh, webcam with the R835 while I was uh, f demonstrating all this. Also, I don't know if anyone noticed, but we're running the B2 stepping, not the B3. B2 has been recalled. So as you can see, something's wrong with the picture here. I've got a 480p movie going over here, The Fast and the Furious. I've got a uh, gold member going over here, 480p, from another DVD. I've got Prime 95, which is a um, Prime, um, whatever you want to call it, um, Prime number, like, uh, thingy. And what else we got going? We have a YouTube video going up. And the computer's reporting a speed of 1.49 gigahertz at a 50 megahertz system bus when I'm supposed to be getting a 2.1 gigahertz at a 100 megahertz bus. And my temps are lower than what I was getting before this new BIOS update 3.0. Hence, I think this new BIOS update 3.0 is stepping our processors even further, um, thus limiting our performance uh, so they can keep within uh, temperature, um, um, whatever they want to call that. Um, sorry for the audio, I'm a little bit um, upset at this. As you can see, it's at 100%. The, it's, the window doesn't want to come up, there we go. The computer is set at high performance. Let's go to um, that. Make sure that we're set for 100% CPU. Even though this is already saying 100% anyway. Change power settings. Processor minimum state is 5 and 50. Max is 100 and 100. So we should be getting 100%. But basically, when we're at 100% here, we should be at 2.10, not 1.49. Um, and we also have CPU ID run, uh, opened up as well. These two apps were opened after these, the two movies were playing and Prime 95 started running um, to ensure that it was getting you know the proper reading. And again, it's only showing a 1.5, uh, 1.49 uh, gigahertz when it's supposed to be showing right now at 2.10. Um, now, mind you, everything's working. Um, you know, and there's no, you know, glitches right now. That's not. This is a big problem right here. Um, when we're actually pushing the computer this hard. We should be at 2.10 or even near it. Um, I'd be happy with it near it, but this is unacceptable. Um, this is also one of the, the problems I noticed with this uh, new BIOS update after I got it. I'm not sure what if it's just coincidence, but I think it's um, a coding in there. But the system seems more laggy. Like if it's in like a, a low CPU state and you go to do something, even scrolling down Internet Explorer or Firefox Chrome, it's like the CPU is taking a minute before it steps up again. And I've noticed that throughout, so I'm kind of like wondering what's going on here. And now that I'm seeing all this, I'm a little bit more concerned. So um, I'd like to know what everyone else thinks that's in this Toshiba mess with the R835.